Hi, welcome to a new video dedicated to a new FPV brush a tiny hoop class quadcopter. Uh, this is a MIA robot the S16 and FPV in 5.8 GHz. We have classic ingredients, for example, a 48 channel 25 milliwatts with a 600 TBL CMOS camera. Uh, this one is super compact and can be a seen as a competitor of the Tiny 6, okay? So uh, let's discover the content and in fact there is just a few basic elements. The radio common, okay, a gunpowder style, where only two shoulder buttons. This one, the left one, is used to uh, bind, okay, if you lost the bind and this one and this is a great introduction for such kind of toy quadcopter. Uh, Permits to cycle between uh, angle and acro mode. Yes, so two of flight modes. Six axis stabilize by default when you will see the red light on front. And when they are turned off, when you press this, you click on it, you will be in acro. That's great. Um, I will explain later just a few roles, but basically some trimming buttons. That's all. Okay, just a uh, power button, and you will need a three uh, AAA. Uh, batteries, any image uh, batteries are working. So, just a basic USB charging cable ending with a super micro GST 1 mm of pitch. Okay, the same pitch that the Tiny 6 uh, LiPo, for example. So, but there, uh, the one given in the bundle is much more wider but shorter as well. So, it's a 200 milliamps, milliamps powers, 40 CSD charge rate. Let's give an information about the weight, about 6 gram, okay, 6.1 to be more precise. And if you want the exact dimension, okay, we'll take with the connector. We are something about 40 millimeters by um, 14 by, okay, let's say, take the plastic cap as well. So about something 6, uh, uh, 65, but without just the lipo 645, okay? So uh, it's more shorter, 40C should be not so bad, okay? But 200 milliamps powers compared to 250 for the Tiny 6. So in terms of weight, let's compare both, okay? So what we can have, same time of class of quadcopter size, it's uh, exactly to be more precise, it's something about 60, 62, something like this. Okay, let's give exactly the dimension between motors. 62, something like this, okay. Uh, the size of the props, the same. It's uh, something about 30 millimeters, okay. And it's a four blade edition compared to the three blade. And you know that the best trade-off between um, flight time versus stability is probably a three a blade edition. So if you want to extend a little bit of flight time with the Miro robots, Please take the uh, tiny six uh, props. It will be will fit directly. So what we have? Look at that the FPV camera and unfortunately uh, no uh, positive angle apply, just uh, zero degrees. So uh, it will be a little bit more better for indoors, but for outdoors uh, in fast forward movement. Uh, well, even if the uh, uh, field of view of the uh, M7 uh, lens thread is uh, large enough, something about 120 degrees. It's a little handicap to not have a positive angle like the uh, tiny seven. I have something. It's a 15 degrees here. We have only zero degrees. In terms of motor, what we have, we have some six millimeters by 15. Okay, six millimeters brushed motors. Good news, we have connector. Okay, and uh, they are very easy to replace. And here on the bottom side, we have uh, the video transmitter. Is not an I/O. It's a two separated. A camera installed in front and I think from the story of about the angle it should be very easy to mod this one to have at least 15 degrees just need to remove this one two three four uh, screws to access to the uh, camera bay and I think it will be very easy to <coughs> apply a positive angle so uh, we have the linear uh, 5.0 gears antenna here and here a small a small here a small uh, switch where you will be able to select if short press on it the uh, one of the eight frequency inside the current selected band and if you long press on it you will be able to cycle between the six supported V band okay racer band is obviously supported so uh, it's classic we have the uh, small GST uh, uh, 
uh, it should be PH connector uh, rear and to insert we have this battery bay, nothing else and just need to bend a bit the power lead cable and plug we have the green for the video transmitter some uh, flashing green for the receiver okay and two a uh, red here is indicating more or less the flight mode uh, section uh, selection okay so um the uh, there are some good news first of all you can see here the uh, gently here as you can see the copper wire as a 2.4 gigahertz uh, antenna so I think the first mode should be to uh, install it drill it vertically to extend a little bit the range but uh, when I disassembled uh, the uh, transmitter okay this can what I found I found a CC 2530 RF ship and if this uh, reference don't say anything to you is more or less the same time of RF ship than the uh, ones used for the fierce skies are in d8 or d16 or a protocol or the uh, futaba sfh ss unfortunately i was not able to bind another of this uh, uh, protocol with my jumper or my demo so it's a variant of such protocol so the good news i think this protocol will be able to be hacked and deported for deviation ticks uh, that's great news there is an individual rf ship as you can see on the photos so it should be not so hard to extract the spa data for future hacking uh, for the version tx and uh, open tx okay so uh, in terms of weight let's compare uh, the uh, the uh, both tiny 7 and 8 and uh, the uh, s16 sorry so we have without battery something about 19.9 plus to 20 okay and compared to the uh, tiny uh, uh, six it's uh 20.4 so just a fraction of gram half gram of difference in favor of the uh, Myra robot so it's a good news uh, what i really like is the duke system sounds super solid so i'm absolutely not afraid to uh to uh, to have uh, to, for the resistance of any shocks I think uh, the structure is super solid so that's definitely a great uh, news so it's even more uh, I would say even more solid than the uh, tiny um, uh, six <laughs> okay so the total weight let's to conclude the comparison with the battery install we reach uh, 26. Dot, uh, um, uh, 26 gram to be more precise exactly and compared to the um, uh, tiny uh, six with the battery the 250 uh, we are obviously more uh, AV we are 27 27 one gram more uh, ever but we have 50 mAh power uh, more uh, with this one so um, the fly time should be a little bit better okay but uh, the question can we install uh, the uh, tiny six battery on the uh, S60 and the question the answer is not super clear because there are some gaps some free room but let's give the information about the weight at least okay we are uh, 26.5 so this the same half gram uh, remaining okay so uh, but we don't really be able to connect the battery the lead wires is too short so you will need maybe to uh, extend this one so uh, what I really like also uh, we the uh, video transmitter bay is super protected okay and um we have such a kind of receiver uh, rf ship so uh, really uh, the uh, of, of fpv and especially the control range should be not bad at all one remark on the transmitter we have a patch antenna to the target antenna so it's not super uh, efficient but this rf ship is super efficient naturally individually so uh, i'm not afraid to cross several walls with such kind of machine okay so uh very important i will uh, show you how to uh, bind but it's pre-bound okay by default so i will insert the battery and uh, by default okay so when you turn on turn on the machine the quadcopter okay and after a couple of seconds you will see the uh green flashing slowly okay like this and if i press on the uh flight mode you will see sorry okay the light disappeared the front red light let's show you one more time i press here i'm in stabilized mode 
here in Acro mode. Okay, so super easy. The other button are, are useless. No strength with 50 flips, for example. Okay, so it's not really a toy squad copter. It's something more intermediate in terms of capacity. Uh, no USB port. Okay, so no possibility to tune any PIDs or through beta files or some stuff like this. So it's a closed system, but we will check in practice how well tuned or not are the PIDs uh, for the um, angle and the acro mode. So the question, other question, can the motors good enough offer enough thrust? You know that such kind of tiny whoops also um, structure is not super uh, loop friendly uh, because uh, due to the um, Duke system, okay, uh, and uh, so it's a little bit harder with the Duke uh, Tanyu class uh, to perform some flimple rolls, okay, but we will see in practice how good is it if it's have enough of power lift. Okay, let's now test indoors and a bit outdoors this machine. <music> Okay, first conclusion about this 660. Well, it's in general a good flyer with a great FPV and control range thanks to the uh, CC2530 for the uh, 2.4 GHz part. Uh, the light sensitivity of the camera is not amazing or sometime in shadow zone uh, uh, the uh, light sensitivity is not uh, fantastic. Anyway, what say it's super durable as you saw in the video I crashed many times so in a uh, six uh, Axis stabilized flight mode angle is super smooth. You can fly everywhere in acro beware with the radio You have super expo values as the extremity. So the, immediately the machine offers super odd rates so uh, and since I'm not a, 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 a 
I am a summer in terms of radio. I don't feel super comfortable. Some side, sometimes the sticks was sliding. Okay, so uh, I really hope one day this radio protocol will be a deviated act for another uh, more deluxe transmitter. It's not a bad transmitter. Don't be wrong, but more uh, adapter probably to pincher than summer. Here, this button I forgot to mention was to calibrate the machine. The flight time are great. At least four good minutes. The punch. Out are not so bad, no problem to clean. Uh, in acro, okay, uh, as I said, I was meeting some difficulties to fly as usual, in, typically with brushless machine here, I've, I met much more difficulties. So indoors could be a little bit tricky with this uh, super high rate and unfortunately no possibility to set any rates to uh, change any PID settings or decrease the rates. That's probably one of the main drawback with uh, the non possibility out of the box to have a positive angle. Uh, even the instruction manual mentioned somewhere something like this, but I think uh, this mode it just takes um, just takes two minutes to do it generally so it's a good machine uh, I advise it for 60 bucks is absolutely not bad the good important point I hear good FPV camera with a good ca control uh, FPV range good control range okay RTF radio acceptable so uh, no real problem and this could be a great first FPV um, tiny class um, quadcopter machine in competition with the uh, a tiny uh, six but this one don't come with a radio transmitter so it's not so bad generally thank you for watching see you next time bye bye